the skipper is closed. The sinner, truth of yourself, who you are. The body is seated here. Sense organs closed. Your eyes closed. You listen to the sounds, the words, thoughts happen. Awareness already existing. You are always aware. Sense organs blessed by the consciousness. The moment a sound or a touch or a taste, a smell or a sight come within your range of perception. Thoughts happen. Consciousness always there. In all the three bodies, three fields of experiences, five seeds. Distinctly, you can see for yourself. Each body corresponds, corresponds to a particular field of experience. When you're awake to the gross body, you're awake to the gross universe. You are tired of waking. Body, you provide the rest. Once it is asleep, you have no access to the physical universe. You can go into a dreamless deep sleep. You can also have a dream sometimes. You remember your dream because of the awareness that you are. You remember your sleep. All the time, the waking, dream, deep sleep, same consciousness. In your childhood, youth, old age, the same I who experiences the childhood, the same one experiences youth and your old age. Never changes, that is why you can coordinate your experience. Your whole range of memories connected to you alone. The body which experiences different places, the sense organs, which experience sensations, all have changed. In and through the memories, you are the changeless. 
ever existing factor. <coughs> Please see that, friends. This coughing, you don't choose to cough. You can choose also, but because of the physical reasons, the cough can come. Doesn't take away the consciousness that you are. Hunger comes. You're aware. <coughs> the suggestions for food comes up. You're aware of the suggestion. Can you consciously experience everything? When you are unconsciously experiencing, the thoughts becoming command. That has become like a habit. Of course, when you see these things clearly, you recognize where you are committing mistake, yet habit is so strong. You know it should be a suggestion, but you lose yourself in a thought. That is why when I ask you to keep quiet in the morning, you can see how compulsive your speech is. You can't keep quiet. You can't resist taking your food. Don't be too harsh on yourself, but begin the process. Be the awareness. Recognize every thought before you act on it at the level of the body and the world. Always remains the same. Waking, dream, deep sleep. Childhood, youth, old days. Now you are experiencing everything here. Your body in ashram, listening, seeing the mountain. Soon the place of your movement will change. Two days, three days, you go back to different places. As you keep moving, landscapes will change. You shall be ever the same. Wherever you are, wherever your body moves, you are the same consciousness. The places do not change you. You are always the same. Whether it is dawn or dusk, midday or midnight, summer or winter, 
rain or spring. You are the same, married, unmarried, engaged, unemployed, educated, uneducated, lying down, getting up. You are the same consciousness. So see that, friends, all times, all places, all conditions, are with yourself. Other than the three bodies and these fields of experience, that awareness remains ever the same. In whose presence you are aware, the meaning of the word I, Awareness, consciousness, call it chit if you like in Sanskrit. Ever existing, therefore sat. In its presence, any time you are happy, you are with yourself. Whenever you are with yourself, and that's what should be all times, you are the happiness itself. Fulfillment, restfulness, free forever. Satchida Ananda Surupa. Everybody is that. Your body is very, your body is not mine, mine is not yours. Our sense organs vary. Our thoughts, memories vary. As the truth, awareness, invariable. This is the, as they say, the unity in diversity, the real oneness in and through the apparent divisions. We need all the divisions, like your own body, 
legs, hands, organs of action, sense organs are varied, but one body. The left hand will not hit the right hand. If your teeth bite the tongue, you don't hit the teeth. same principle you see through the universe. The self, the awareness, the same in all the beings. the changeless, live with the changes. And to be yourself, to be always in meditation. Be that stillness, silence. Because you are that eternal, all blissful, the natural urge to go back to the source. No human individual shall ever remain contented with anything less than infinity, absolute freedom, total happiness. Because your nature is that, all urge to return to the source. And every natural urge has things to fulfill itself. Eyes to see, forms are there. Ears to hear, sounds are there. You want to be happy. Happiness is there, yourself. And to exist forever, live forever, your being eternal. Right here and now, while living in this body, there is no waiting in consciousness. Close your eyes, listen. If you feel like, by chance, you are not used to open your eyes, you can do so, but listen. You don't wait for consciousness. Just like I ask you, please listen. I ask you, please listen. You are waiting for my sound, my speech, but you don't wait for silence. You wait for speech, don't wait for silence. You are waiting in silence, not for silence. If I say, please think, we shall wait for a thought, we don't wait for consciousness. 
and at least in silence, there is waiting in a silence, there is no waiting in consciousness. You can't wait for consciousness. Who you are is consciousness. And if there is some waiting, is the I thought which waits. Awareness has no waiting. As even the space has reached all destinations, is a traveler who struggles to reach a destination. Awareness at once everywhere. Is a thinker, the I, waiting for something. And be the self. Assume the role that you want to play, but always the same. There is no waiting for consciousness. You are it. Close your eyes. If I opened it, just see that. Sanavatu 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 Shanti, 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 Last few days, we have been listening to this knowledge. In fact, the revelation about yourself, about self-knowledge is over once we go to that where he says, Atma Satchidananda Swarupa. That is enough for a person to live through life. But then you are totally capable of handling yourself, knowing who you are, clearly recognizing the functioning of the gross body, subtle body, causal body, the waking, the dream, the deep sleep, then the panchakoshas, the food sheath, vital air sheath, mind, intellect, sense organs, organs of action, and your deep sleep state. With these, everything is over. If you go on contemplating on these ideas and being with yourself more and more, then the mind will be ready for this quantum jump, that where is a leap you take from the micro to macro. Sometimes 
even though this micro that is your understanding of yourself is clear the moment you get into this macro dimension some people will find it difficult by chance you are finding little difficult don't worry about it as you can always think again come back again study again no problem at all but just because the other side is little appearing appear to be difficult don't give up on the first half is very important why am i telling you this because while teaching people i have been seeing it for last uh, year so many years as long as it is about the individual body thought mind perfect most people grasp it up easily and go through but moment you come into creation and with all that heavy logic into that sometimes you lose track as why be comfortable with the basic understanding of yourself what i am we are going to do now is to build it up on that and this is something very clear there is nothing extraordinarily complicated about it but if you hold on to yourself that to who i am is not this body or not these thoughts not even the name i but myself this language you don't come across always in the world around that is why the moment to step out of the gates of this place again the language will catch you up the other language body mind you know eat this don't eat this do this don't do this you know suddenly it will catch up and in the absence of regular exposure to this knowledge unless you are responsible where you without giving it a miss every morning before you start your day you look at yourself as i told you when you get up from your bed you don't uh, just wake up and then go away you don't go to you don't go to sleep and after you get up from the sleep you don't go away just like that to the your office you dress up yourself a little organize yourself just to make yourself physically presentable without a, giving a miss can you do it every day to decorate your mind you must remember yourself because if you lose yourself in the role your whole not only day but the life can be complicated unconscious living complicates our lives please understand you see it for yourself i don't have to say again and again please because if you do that you can see for yourself when you are consciously living even if you consciously get into a mess you know how to get out of it unconsciously you get into even a nice situation you will be stuck in it you don't know how to get out of it so please observe and when i am going to the next now about this creation and ishwara please appreciate because this concept of god has been a very very confusing thing from the day one when you say the word cat think of it please all the time in life always we have associated a name with a form so the moment you say the word god again that word is not explained to us just like the word i these two words just think in life these two words never explained to us when you are growing up i means whatever comes to mind your body mind you know whatever whatever total body orientation same thing depends on what tradition you are growing up so that is how the word god is 
So everybody doesn't talk of same God. Don't, uh, you know, sort of a delude yourself with that, that everybody talks the same God, every religion talks of same God. No. The concept varies. For some people, when you say the God, there is no God in this creation. Somewhere in the heavens, somewhere in the cloud. He is a man only, cannot be a woman, can't be anything. For somebody, God is just one formless thing. Very rigid, strict codification that this is what God is. So if you grow up with that type of tradition, naturally, then some other child gets up with, grows up with the tradition, everything is God, everything is fine. But he doesn't understand how everything is God. So naturally everybody laughs at him. How can be everything be God? How can the dog be God? No child doesn't know what to do. True. How can the dog be God? Is a dog. How can the uh, uh, you know stone be God? The person doesn't understand. I'll give a very simple example. With that, we shall move into the God's thing. Yesterday, you have seen that uh, expansion. Today, I'll give you a very simple example. You want to read more about it, please pick up that book, God My Best Friend, with the background of this knowledge. You will be very clearly appreciate it, very nicely, but more elaborately it is given out there. But just please see one tradition, which is confined to South India. In India also, everybody, you don't see this. In South India, it is there. The naming tradition, naming. A child is named, eh? think, a child is named. South Indian names are the biggest names. Eh? <laughs> if you ask what is your name, A, B, C, D, E, F, Ram, Chandran, eh? B, K, R, V, K, V, Rao, oh boy. And if you ask what is this, one father's name, mother's name, village name, uh, you know, <laughs> grandfather's name, then his name. So you don't know, it's not first name, second name. It is four, five names, then name. Why is it so? Please just see. So the child is born in a village. Okay? Take this. A child is born in a village. Let us say his name is Ram. Simply. Just one name. His name is Ram. If in the village somebody asked him, Hey, who are you? Ram. Nobody will understand. What is this Ram? So he say, you know, everybody knows the father, but don't know, doesn't know the child. So the father's initial he keeps. So the father's name is Sadasivam. So father's name is Sadasivam. So his name will be S. S. Ram. Sadasivam Ram. S. Ram. Suppose his village is Adiyanamalai. He born in this place, Adiyanamalai. So Adiyanamalai Sadasivam. Ram. A S Ram. Just see the beautiful principle. At the end of it, if you don't understand, raise your hand, I'll explain again. But see the beauty, absolute beauty. So that boy's this body name is now Ram. This body is born. What is the name? Ram. Then the village people say, Yavrandi, Yakone, Yarde, who are you? Ram. Who is Ram? Sadasivam. Oh. Sadasivam sana. Ah, he knows Sadasivam. Are you getting that? He knows your father, but doesn't know you. So all the children of Sadasivam are S. S. Ram, S. Lakshman, S. Bharat, S. Satrugan. Okay? Yes. Everybody. In particular, he is Ram, but in general, he identifies with the father. Are you getting that? So all the children are Sadasivam first, then Ram or something. Okay? Now the Sapati fellow has gone to another village, gone to uncle's house, maternal uncle's house, visiting. There they ask you, who are you? Ram. What Ram? They won't understand anything. Sadasivam, who knows your father? Adiyanamalai? Ah, Adiyanamalai. Yeah. That means, now your name is Adiyanamalai. Why? You are part of the whole village. 
So now what is your identity now expanding? In general, Adiyanamalai, in particular, Ram. When you say Adiyanamalai, your father is included. You don't have to put S again. Father is included. Adiyanamalai, Ram. Oh, Brahma Adiyanamalai. Okay. With this we stop. In fact, it should go on further. Please see. Suppose you go to Delhi. You go to Bombay. Somebody asks you, Who are you? Ram. What Ram? Sadashivam. You know Sadashivam. What Sadashivam? Who cares Sadashivam? Adiyanamalai. Adiyanamalai. Uru Adi. You want to give me a hit. What Adiyanamalai? What is Adiyanamalai? Okay. Um, Tamil Nadu? Ah. Tamil, you know. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So what should you give? You should really add Tamil Nadu, Adiyanamalai, Sadasivam, Ram. Are you getting that point, please? Now suppose you go to New York. You go to study in America. You join New York University. And there the fellow ask, who are you? Ram. What Ram? Adiyanamalai. Will the New York fellow understand? Tamil Nadu. What Tamil Nadu? Explain yourself. India. That's why Indian passport you hold. So in general, India. Are you getting that? You are part of the... You see your expanding identity. In general, India. In particular, Ram. Suppose, being going to, going to America as you are, America is a land of opportunity. You struggle there and somehow you got into little of this uh, space science and learned some flight also and they chose you as an astronaut. They chose you as an astronaut. You have to go to Mars. And lucky that you are, you have gone from Adyanamalai to New York already. You go to Mars also and lucky that you are and Martian comes in front of you. So far nobody had seen. But you see one Martian coming in front of you and telling in that robotic voice, who are you? <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm from Adiyanamalai. <laughs> Even if you say India, will you understand? No. What shall you tell him? Do you see this green planet, Earth? What is your identity now? No, no, friends, please feel it. What is your identity? whole earth. In general, earth, in particular, Ram. So now that you have succeeded in meeting a Martian, and that fellow also cooperates with you, and they say, okay, earth and Mars will have a joint endeavor, will have a joint flight to the edge of the universe. You go to the galactic travel. So you enter into galaxy. When you want a galaxy, you go there, lucky that you are, one galactic being, whatever who is, appears in front of you and he says, introduce yourself, I am from sun. <laughs> he, he won't understand. Solar system also he won't understand. Like yesterday we were seeing that. Solar system he won't understand. Earth forget, Adiyanamalai, just not talk about it. Let's <laughs> no? not talk about it. Say, I am from the other galaxy. Oh. So what is your identity now? Galaxy in general. In particular, Ram. Impossibility you take now. Think there is another universe beyond this universe. There is no second physical universe. Material universe, there can be only one. You may say multiverse. But all matter, even if you say multiverse as a concept, that there are so many universes, all physical. So it doesn't matter what is the distance. It can be trillion, billion, trillion, zillion, zillion. The whole existence, however it is. is think theoretically possible, in reality impossible, like the man who discovered leverage. He said, if you give me a little space beyond this earth or universe, I can lift it, because so that with liver you can function. But, think that you have gone to another universe. Somebody asks you, who are you? What shall you say? 
Your first name is universe. In general, universe. Now, can you therefore physically die in a physical universe? Forget the consciousness for the time being. Can you physically die in a physical universe? Can the wave die as water in the ocean? Just think, friends. This is meditation. Expansion. Okay. So in general, your universe in particular, now, this is where now the twist will come. Please think, now that you understand the I, the physical body is a relative identity. What is your absolute identity? Consciousness. Okay. Now, the consciousness with one body, if you call it individual jiva, the same consciousness with the macrocosmic universe, the total body, if you want to name it, Ishwara, God. Understand? In Sanskrit, this physical body known as the Pinda. In Sanskrit, the macrocosmic universe known as the Brahmanda. Brahmanda means macrocosmic universe. Pindanda, Brahmanda, they say. Anda means like an egg. Pindanda, it is like made out of the clay as though. That is Brahmanda, the whole macrocosmic universe. This is the material explanation. With the consciousness, the Pinda becomes Jiva. With the same consciousness, it becomes Brahmanda is Ishwara, God. That is why when you say the word Ishwara, the God, it is not one name with one form. It is the name for all forms. That is why in Indian tradition, everybody's name, whether you are a man or a woman, makes no difference. It begins with Sri. Sri because First you are God. Sri means God. Sri means truth. Sri means prosperity. Sri means Lakshmi. Sri means immortality. Sri means everything. Sri. Sri Man, Sri Mati. So first you are God. Then you are something. So in general we are divine. In particular we are human, trees, monkey, man, doesn't matter. Understand, please. Consciousness with one body. Pinda. If there is no consciousness, there shall be no jiva, no living entity. Living entity means what? Conscious entity. Even the trees are conscious. Nowadays they say experiment with good music they grow, bad music they die. Cow with good music gives more milk, with bad music, yuk. Everybody listens, everything. Think of it. Expression of consciousness is not there. Why? Depends on the upadi, depends on the instrument. That is why you can see not evolution of species that you cannot really prove. Evolution of species, you cannot prove. That from the unicellular, multicellular, multicellular, they say, if suddenly a monkey become man, and no monkey become man now, eh? with monkey they stayed. Anyway, that's not our you know, area now to talk about. But one thing you can see, evolution of consciousness. Evolution of consciousness does not mean evolution, that's a bad word. In the expression of consciousness, there shall be limitation and limitlessness. Therefore, consciousness is not limited. The upadhis, 
are limited. Like you can see, three C the like world. You can see unconscious. Unconscious means inert. This is inert. This is inert. Stone inert. From the unconscious, you can go to semi-conscious. Semi-conscious will be the leaves, trees, you know, those type of entities. Semi-conscious. Then you go to conscious entity. Bigger animals, insects, all them conscious entities. Come to human being. Human being not only conscious. In human being there is everything. Unconscious. Your no. Your Nail your hair, unconscious. Certain parts responding, just like the trees. You can say that as though semi-conscious. I mean, if you want to reserve that, then human being also conscious. But the speciality of human being is from unconscious to conscious, unconscious to semi-conscious to conscious. Human beings are self-conscious. That is a huge plus point and a huge minus point. Self-conscious. Self-conscious means you know what? Self-conscious means you are conscious that you are smart. You are conscious you are handsome or beautiful, healthy or unhealthy. Like dogs are not like that. There are such lovely species of dogs. Eh? There is an Afghan hound. There is an Italian greyhound. There is a, you know, that Rufus, Rufus, I am talking Rufus, uh, Irish setter. How many types of dogs? Hundreds of varieties of dogs. Suppose you leave them together, one Irish setter, one Italian greyhound, one Afghan hound, pedigree dogs, and our ordinary mongrel. If you leave them, Will the Afghan hound say, oh, Italian ground, no, 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 ordinary. Give Italian ground says, a mongrel, no. Will they do that? Jump on each other immediately. But the owner of the grey hound will not talk with the owner of the mongrel. The owner of the Afghan hound will not even look at anybody. Because the Afghan hound is such an elegant dog. Think. Because person is self-conscious. Afghan hound doesn't say, I am such a wonderful species, this fellow is an idiot. No. Immediate. Human beings, self-conscious. That is why, because of the ego sense. So, that is your curse. And because of that curse, the blessing, it becomes a blessing also, you are looking for always better, 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 until you reach the best yourself. So from, naturally, if you look at the evolution of consciousness, from unconscious to conscious, unconscious to semi-conscious to conscious to self-conscious, the next stage is consciousness. You become one with yourself. So consciousness with one body, individual body and mind, sense organ, if you call it the jiva, the whole universe, Together, if you put it, we call it as the Ishwara. So when you say the word Ishwara, it is not one name with one form. It is the name for all forms. So everybody is first God, then something else. Listen carefully. Because you say, God is so powerful, so this type of story has gone into head. So somebody says, if you are first God, immediately say, if I am God, why don't I have a power? Hey! Ocean is water. Wave also is water. In, from the water standpoint, wave and ocean both are same. What shall you call the wave? Is it wave or ocean? Come on. First it is ocean. Then only it is wave. From the little standpoint, it is wave. From the firm standpoint. But in reality, it is ocean. Because the wave doesn't exist. There is nothing called ocean and wave. Are you getting that point, please? So in the wave, 
Ants cannot commit suicide. In ocean, mountains can be lost. Vastness. So even though you understand the consciousness, here is consciousness everywhere, still you know you are with one body. When you have one body at your disposal, when you say Ishwara, all the body at your disposal. Understand? Like one cell in your body and the total cell, macrocosm. The cell in your body will never understand it, part of a huge organism called a human being. Understand? When you say the word Ishwara, it is not one name with one form, but the name for all forms. So your name is, first you are Ishwara, God. Then you are, in general, Ishwara. That is why, in the greetings in this tradition is Namaste. You know what is Namaste? Namaha Te. Te Tubhyam Ishwaram. To you, Ishwaraya, to you, the God in you, my Namaskar. That is why it doesn't matter young, old, small, big. Namaste, Namaste, Namaste. Why? First, the God in you. The God in you. The same thing here also. God there, God here, one and the same. Namaskar. So when you say the word God, it's not a name for a form, it is the name for all forms. Like, I'll give an example, please take. Play God, not play. What is the name of this place? What is the name of this place? Asram. Let's say Asram. Can you call it Adiyanamalai is here, no? Huh? Adiyanamalai? Here? Thiruvannamalai? Yes. Tamil Nadu? Yes. India? Yes. India also is here. Asia? Yes. Asia is here? Right. What about Earth? Yes. Solar system? Yes. Galaxy? Yes. Universe? Yes. Are you getting that point, please? Same place. What shall you call it? This is known as, please see that. This is, locally, it is known as the ashram, Adiyanamalai. Please go with it. If you provincialize it, Tamil Nadu. When you are provincializing, please go. When you are provincializing, are you adding anything to this place or expanding your mind? Huh? Expanding your mind. You are not adding anything to the place. You are expanding your mind. Provincialize Tamil Nadu. Nationalize India. When you are nationalizing, are you adding something to the place or expanding your mind? You are expanding your mind. Planetize Earth. Solar system eyes, solar system. Universal eyes, universe. Listen, divine eyes, God. When you say divine eyes, that is the time we go crazy. Because you don't understand. Consciousness with all pervasive, living universe. It's not a dead universe. When you say Ishwara, it's a living universe. You divinize the local. What have we done in our mistake is, instead of divinizing the local, we have localized the divine. Are you getting that point? Instead of divinizing the local, we have localized the Divine. What is localizing the divine? See, listen, what is localizing the divine? Earth is, listen, Earth is planet, this is planet Earth, okay? Planet Earth. Earth is America. Earth, world. World is America. World is Europe. World is Australia. World is 
Africa. World is Asia. Right? But suppose the Americans say, America is the world. How do you like it? If Europeans say, Europe is the world, how do you like it? Do you like it? Nobody will like it. World is Europe, world is America, world is Australia, world is... No problem. But Europe is the world? Nobody will like it. God is, think, Ishwara. God is Rama. Okay. Buddha. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Muhammad. Okay. Uh, tree. Okay. Nanak. Okay. X, Y, Z. Okay. No problem. But if you say, this is the only God, you understand the defect now? <laughs> Europe is England, Europe is Germany, Europe is Netherlands, Europe is Spain, Europe is Portugal, no problem. Portugal is Europe. You understand? Exclusivist religion means this is the only God. That is why huge fight. <laughs> like America is the world, Europe is the world. So America and Europe fight now. Why? To make prove themselves that they are the world. The world is Europe, world is America, world is everything. So what is the problem? What is the fight in name of what? And see where the problem comes up. How the problem comes up? What is the name of this planet? Earth. Okay? Please touch Earth. Come on. Touch the Earth. Quick. Touch the Earth. Very sweet. Everybody touch the Earth. Is it necessary to touch the Earth? Why can't you touch yourself? Are you Earth or no? The Earth is here or no? Come on. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Hmm. You better feel it. See. Earth is here. Earth is here, but this much is not Earth. India is here, but this much is not India. Or else you can take that and say, I brought India. <laughs> Listen carefully. Earth is here. Okay, so where is the Earth now? Every part of the planet Earth is there. Earth is everywhere. Are you getting that? Earth is everywhere. So if you say Earth, everything is included. So technically, what is your name? Earth. Are you getting that? Anything's name can be Earth or no? Come on. Eh? If everything is Earth, what is your name? Earth. What did you eat? Earth. Where are you sleeping? Earth. Where are you going? Where are you coming from? Now, understand the confusion. Technically right, functionally impossible. Just like your own body. What is the name of the whole thing? Body. Right? Suppose you say, doctor, my body is not okay. Which part of the body? Body. Why? There is no hand. Come on, do that. You see? Can you see that? Can you please touch your nose? Come on, touch your nose. Touch your nose. Touch your knee? No. Touch your stomach? Touch your shoulder? Touch yourself? Where should you touch? If I say touch yourself, should you see? Touch your nose? Mm. Touch your knee? Mm. Okay, touch yourself. Should you raise your hand? No. You know, or like this, you know. So, so, so some religion will say there is a there is a mystic heart. Mystic heart. What is a mystic heart? There is a mystic heart which is in the right side of the heart. Mystic. Why? Because when you say, who are you? And uh, who has done it? Mm. Therefore. This is the spiritual center of your body. To donkeys, you provide more fodder to be more confused. Spiritual heart. Then inside the heart, there is a uh, atma also inside. So you so many times bypass surgeon, bypass surgery, heart operation, no atma coming out. <laughs> no, 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 understand where the people commit the biggest mistake. What is that? Ha, the spiritual heart. To touch yourself, you touch knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder, nose, nose. Touch yourself. You don't have to raise your finger. Why? 
in you where your hand is you are listen so everybody's every part is name is body functionally difficult everything's name is earth right what are you eating earth what are you going where are you going earth what are you doing earth but functionally impossible therefore for our convenience of operation we have divided the earth seven continents listen when you say seven continents does it become the earth is divided earth remains earth because first it is america then it is earth huh? oh you are listening first it is earth then it is america first is earth then it is europe first it is earth then it is australia first is earth then is india but think friends a visible earth which is always one and the same does not unite us we say america for americans australia for australians europe for europeans asia for asiatics if a visible earth cannot unite you you think invisible god is going to unite you how we kill each other what is going on terrorism countries killing each other countries killing each other people killing each other why we forget we are earth inseparable part of the earth what is your name first it is earth then it is america europe australia asia first it is india but is suppose indian subcontinent then oh, this country india so everybody's name is india what a headache what is your name india where are you going india where are you sitting india oh you again headache so divide it so many states state everything in tamil nadu no divide it different areas divide it different districts here divide it different tehsils divide it different villages we divide it different houses different roads in that house five people and your name is ram so how many name how many initials you can have your first initial is ishwara god first universal initial no problem universe i ishwara so first initial is i yeah? so beautiful next is you universe are <laughs> wow, wonderful eh? first is i so your in general ishwara god in general universe in general galaxy in general solar system in general earth until that no problem ishwara no problem universe no problem galaxy no problem uh, solar system no problem earth also no problem <laughs> then begins american european asian australian new zealander i i o you understand how the human consciousness has frozen itself to the, to all the fightings as though frozen itself it wants to be reawakened hanuman the great character the monkey god in india as you call them is not a monkey god he is a god anyway whatever devotee whatever you say he was so powerful making all little little uh, pranks in the childhood the rishi is cursed him the sages cursed him uh, this fellow is such a monkey because he want to eat the sun he thought rising sun is a ripe mango so he going to pick it eh? that is the story so they cursed him until somebody reminds you you shall forget your strength he forgot his strength when sita has to be brought from the sri lanka who will go nobody knows says somebody knew the story they reminded hey hanuman you have the capacity you can jump say who he jumps we are all sleeping hanumans as though the curse of ignorance forgotten our power is need to be reawakened just to say who you are bas you don't have to expand yourself are you getting that point please long before you want to be with god he is with you Oh, Ishwara, are you getting that? Long before you want to be the infinity, 
should the finite reach infinity or infinity has already reached finite? Huh? Is it necessary to go to God? Who is away from God? That is why there is expression God for second place doesn't exist in this lexicon. There is no God for second place. That language will come in a tradition where God is somewhere, therefore God for second. Ungodly hour, the, all these languages, please understand, language reflects a culture. Don't say good or bad, right or wrong, superior or inferior, I am not interested in that. Just understand the language. There is no ungodly hour. Everything is divine. That is why there is no devil, no satan. Everything divine only. If you don't see earth, you see India. But therefore does not mean earth is forgotten. If you don't see divine, you may behave like a devil. But that does not mean divinity is gone. Are you getting that point, please? So everybody's name suppose is earth, what will happen? You can't function. Therefore, if a letter has to come from moon, suppose say earth, 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 where will you go? So you have to say earth, listen, earth, 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 meaning it goes to earth. Then earth, come and make it come on, earth, Asia, so it comes to earth, then goes to earth, Asia. Then from, suppose in letter is onto this address, ashram address, earth, India. So it comes to Asia, then from Asia, it comes to India. Then earth, Tamil Nadu, come to Tamil Nadu. Earth, Adiyanamalai, come to Adiyanamalai. Earth, ashram, comes to ashram. Earth, room number one, room number one, name YX. Also earth. Second ones are all functional names, relative names. First one is absolute, earth. In reality, same thing also. Just expand from earth. It is solar system, galaxy, universe, Ishwara. God. So your first name is, think, first name is God. First name is God. Think. Continue with same strain. First, God. Universe, God. Solar system, God. Earth, God. Asia, God. India, God. Ashram, God. You. Don't you think, therefore, every national flag should have the picture of earth in first. Because first you are world, then only you are something. So every national flag, one corner, there should be world. Let us not forget, we are the part of this planet. Furthermore, part of the divine. So can the name of God, can you divide yourself? Only when you make your God exclusive, you kill yourself and you kill everybody else. You understand why the religion has become a problem? Any religion which stands around, hangs around one exclusive God, this is the one, the rest of is all finished. Please think, friends. So everybody's name is Earth. Nobody stands apart. Who is superior? Who is inferior? To reach a point in earth, you take time. To reach earth, where should you go? You are the earth. Where is the question of God? To see an expression in divinity, you may travel. To see God, where should you go? Be yourself. That is why, if you can now dramatize it, by chance you come across God, he comes a particular form, Mr. God. Embodiment of the whole universe, just like you have given a form to, listen, given a form to 
earth in a represent a global represent in a globe you represent the whole earth in a globe you represent the whole earth suppose you want to represent god with what shall you represent in this tradition they make them all blue why this blue god everybody blue body why this blue blue color stands for the infinite expanse ocean is blue sky is blue 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 so blue body blue boy of vrindavan krishna rama is blue green all pervasive colors and what name in what form can you represent earth tree also represents earth stone also represents earth leaves also represent earth dust also represents earth man woman ka monkey man animal anything represent earth with what should we represent god that which all pervasive with what shall you represent god which one should remind you any form that is why it is not paganism to see god in every form is not paganism not a pantheistic belief too many no 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 don't worry about it in any form you can see god that is why nobody worships idol understand you can ask why so many idols what is wrong what is wrong think in what form you can represent earth any form is limited you know any millions and millions in what form you can represent god any number why understand in that there is a beauty it should remind you of the totality because idols are not worshiped listen please appreciate idols are not worshiped an ideal is worshiped like in your country's flag what is the color of your country's flag let us say like in india it is green uh, white saffron or red eh? whatever green white saffron three colors are there suppose you go into market in a in a cloth merchant shop there is a green cloth there is a white cloth there is a what is that saffron cloth will you salute the moment you see three color will you salute no but suppose you bring that saff saffron bring that white bring that green and put a chakra in that suddenly the stem stupid little pieces of cloth now representing a country so whom are you saluting pieces of cloth or the country are you worshiping the cloth or the ideal idol or the ideal who worships idol nobody worships idol idols are not worshiped somebody sees an ideal in that idol one who doesn't have that ideal he thinks this is idol worshiper are you getting that point please you understand and the person who tells you that you are worshiping idol forgets he also worships oh no we don't worship idol what about your book let us say your book somebody spits on that book you will shoot them down kill them everybody why book is not an idol ah huh? only human form is idol what about the so called structures that supposed to house your divinities what about the structure it is a structure is it not an idol the book is it not an idol any representation any so called holy representation is it not an idol you don't have to argue with them in such a way instead of telling pointing out his mistake tell him even in that idol we see the ideal therefore you take him in instead of separating him from you because he insists that this is an idol you tell him no not only i don't worship an idol i see an ideal but also you also don't worship an idol it is also an ideal both are same don't worry But the person cannot accept you because he doesn't understand. Just think, think. 
nobody worships an idol there is no idol worshipers there was a king he was very proud one day a monk was visiting his place and he said i don't believe in god i don't believe in these idols then the monk said sir do you have a picture of your own oh there was a painting of his can i have please he brought it he put it there put the picture and asked the courtiers any one of you please come and spit on this please spit on this photo yep all the courtiers are trembling with fear eh? <laughs> the king's photo is put there and they have been asked to spit say so spit on this everybody was trembling you know nobody wants to do that he said why don't you do it of course he says maharaj o king not that i want them to spit on why can't they spit is it a photograph they see or in that photo they see you painting is a piece of paper a block of wood a piece of stone but in that stone they see you that is why they don't dare spitting how come you see only one place divine and the rest of it is not divine only one holy place and rest of it is not which in which part of the body you exist in your body which part of the body you exist only on my knee yeah you must be brainless isn't it think of it if i where if i touch you where if i touch you i touch you is there a particular part if i touch you only touch you rest of this and touch you you can give me a massage everywhere you have not touched me but if you touch my knee oh boy can you say that any where you touch you have touched me what is the ishwara to touch the earth where should you touch to solar system where should you touch universe where should you touch to touch god where should you touch if you give a god a name for a form you shall be permanently pining for him to reach him to meet him when the god is the name for all forms a part of the macrocosmic universe infinity isha vasyam idam sarvam yat kincha jagat yam jagat isha vasya upanishad kam the whole universe is seen as god the truth itself creation creator one and the same like a dream and dreamer one and the same in a micro way the dream and the dreamer one and the same brahman maya together brahman is purusha alparveshi maya prakruti in the presence of the purusha and prakruti the male and female the whole universe appears to be in that appearance there is a method as though there is a method space air fire water earth all these things comes up which i'll tell you tomorrow let's think of it friends so when you say ishwara that is why which gender you can give it to god if it's everything what gender can you give is masculine only masculine feminine only feminine neuter also neither masculine nor feminine nor neuter when you make purusha the man the masculine suppose you make masculine the feminine becomes subordinate purusha prakruti masculine feminine subordinate when you make devi as prominent in tantra literature the female principle is the absolute shiva becomes subordinate that is why kali puts the shiva puts her foot on that and moves so sometimes shiva is down sometimes kali you know the male is down and the male is up i mean it depends on where you are the whole principle is man or woman is a man is a woman ardhanar is a half man half woman no is animal oh is animal trees okay 
anything is divine. So to see that God, are you getting that? Until you identify the one body, Shiva has not become the Jiva. <laughs> The God has not lost itself until the identification begins. Not that God loses himself. Individual loses sight of himself. That individuality comes up, isolation begins. Creation never isolates you. However much you say there is no God, the air will not refuse. This fellow doesn't believe, I won't get into his nose. The heat will not refuse. Nothing will be refused. Why? He is there in all parts. Call it he, she, it, doesn't matter. Ishwara in all the beings. So what is our first name now? Ishwara. I. Consciousness, call it Atma, Brahma, Ishwara, no problem. So as even while acting, we don't forget that we are men of this world, all of us, part of this earth. Should we kill each other? Expand. Solar system, Milky Way, galaxy, Ishwara himself. Who should kill him? And in whose name? God's name? <sighs> that is why in this tradition you cannot be a fanatic. If you understand these things, you can never be a fanatic because everything is fine. I worship God in one form, okay. Only feminine form, fine. Only masculine is all right. No form, that also fine. What do you do with such a person? Comfortable. To make a story, one day, Shankaracharya, just a story, okay? He was, he was invited by, just a story, huh? don't think about this or that. He went to Rome, he can't go, but he, he has to go. So he went there, to Rome. And the Pope put him on his papal palace in Vatican, and all, that, all opulence, everything, what not. Then after staying for some time, Pope asked Shankaracharya, how come you are, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, take a good time. See, I have seen you coming here, but uh, don't you miss God? Uh, we have a hotline with God. With the heavens, from Vatican to heaven, direct hotline. Don't you feel like talking to God sometimes? He said, yeah, oh, why not, why not, oh, correct me. And the said, hello God speaking. Hello. I am from Sangharacharya. So he had a nice, nice conversation and finished up everything. And then at the end of it, Sangharacharya said, you know, this, uh, you know, this call between earth and heaven, it will be a very, very long distance call, isn't it? It will cost so enormously, I must pay for it. Uh, Pope said, no, 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 you don't pay for it. You don't worry about it. You are our guest. I know it's heavy, very costly, but you don't have to pay for it. He said, no, I must, because it's too much. One rupee, two rupees is a different thing. It must be one or two million. So you must take. He said, no, you are our guest. We are not paying. Okay, thank you. Came back after a few years. Pope was coming to India. Sangra said, hey, hi, do you remember me? I had gone to your place. Oh, yeah, will you come to our place? Oh, yes. Pope also comes in, but this is very ordinary place. But Pope was gracious to come and stay in that very small ordinary place. After one or two days, he can't keep him for one month, one or two days, he said, you are talking every day with God, I saw there you have a hotline, you want to have a talk with God? Also? He said, yeah, 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 why not? Okay, talk. He talked. He talked for 15, 20 minutes and then, but he was very much aware, hey, 15 minutes now, it will be 15 million dollars or something like that. And he is, uh, you know, so he offered. He said, Shankaracharya, you must take this. He said, said, no, 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 you are a guest, I cannot take. He said, no, I can afford because I have euro dollar. You are only Indian rupee. <laughs> it will be so difficult, 15 million, you can't afford. You must take the money. He said, don't worry, these are all local call, free. <laughs> For us, God is a local call. So it comes free. If it <laughs> If it, is, 
if it is interplanetary, international, <laughs> jokes, friends, but think of it. But Ishwara, what should he do? So when you say Ishwara, it's not a name for a form, it's the name. Just like earth is the name for the whole planet. But because we cannot function, so named it earth. But don't forget earth while dividing it for convenience. Same way, if you say God, what are you eating? God. Who are you? God. Where are you going? God. What are you sleeping? God. What are you planning? God. Technically right. Functionally impossible. Therefore name everything. But because you are dividing, should you forget God in that? Uh. So first Sri, as much you are divine, that much I am divine. After that, you know, Ishwara, what shall bother you? Anything is fine. And imagine with science and scientific progress, everybody studying more and more. When you make this world more and more beautiful, more and more convenient, should we all stay together to enjoy the whole prosperity or kill each other to grab each other's prosperity? So many pathetic tales are coming up. Not only there. Imagine 9-11 in America. What happened? How many people? Thousands of them. Terrorist attack. Now you can say because of the wrong economic policy, some people are dying. Say, hey, nobody comes and kills them. Oh, they, because of their policy, food is not available. True, that is where the other people also should understand. To keep the economics okay, you dump the paddy or the wheat in the Atlantic, but you don't give it to somebody. Why? You want to keep your God satisfied. That is why the political system has gone wrong. Don't say people have become non-believers. They have become, they have got the, forgotten the real God, the all-pervasive of which you are a part. They have made a lesser God a powerful God. I'll give an equation, please see. You think communists don't believe in God? In communism, state is the God. Communist leaders are the, the philosophers, those who are ideologues, they are the priests. The communist manifesto is the Vedas. The inner group is the priest. They can do everything they like. Everybody can have ordinary cars, but Brezhnev had all the best cars in the world. Because he's a high priest. If you go to capitalist system, money is God. Economics, capitalism is the ism, religion, Vedas. And the capitalists are the priests, high priests. There is a believer, non-believer, doesn't matter. Person has taken a lesser God. That is why you fight in the name of ism, capitalism, communism, democracy, this, that. So many different types of political ideologues you are fighting, just like people fight in the name of God. And when it is politics and religion combined together, it's a deadly combination. You completely destroy everybody. Please think, friends. Time has come to recognize this. Think, friends. When you say, first, who are you? Then from that, you move on to the absolute. When you say, Ishwara, it's not a name for a form, the name for all forms. So, nobody stands apart. Everybody is a part of that macro totality, call it divinity, call it God, call it Ishwara, whatever you like. There is nothing other than it. Okay. More of it, we shall see tomorrow. I just, I have to give it to you and also come into mind. So when the, just like the individual body, total body, the total mind also is there. In that, what is that mind, how it functions? We shall see tomorrow. A little bit of it, I will give it. That books, if I can read, I read, I cannot, cannot. Because if I go through the whole book, you may be confused. That's why I am not going to touch it. You know, for the timing and some you can read, take the book also, you can read that. Uh, um, you give them that, Lakshmi, like give them, each one participant, give them a free book about the Tattovada, uh, Path to Pathless. 
everybody give a gift, okay? Let them take. Uh, now, please close your eyes and more of it. We shall see tomorrow. And tomorrow morning class may be a little time changing. I'll tell you that in the, after, in, in the evening satsang. Close your eyes, please. see that point please the whole planet earth one name with one form it includes all the names in the planet when you say Ishwara God it includes all the universe every single name infinity Nothing stands apart. One awareness everywhere. We call it Atma, Brahman, Ishwara. First you are that. Then function with a limited body mind. Because you are sitting in this place, it doesn't deny you the privilege of sitting on the earth or the solar system or Ishwara. Just see that.